Hi, in this video, I'm going to answer a question I received from a viewer. As always, if you have any advice for this person, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Remember, people do read the comments, and so when you leave some good comments, it helps other people. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and open the email here. And I've already briefly read this email, and the person uh, does not want their name in the video, so name anonymous. The subject is advice needed. Hello, Math Sorcerer. I need some advice about something I've been kind of struggling with. So I'm 19, and I decided about a few months ago to start self-studying not only math, but physics, chemistry, and biology. I am in college, but I'm not taking these courses because I do not have the prerequisites, which I did not take in high school. I'm self-studying because I found a love for these subjects, specifically math and physics. But when I see where I am compared to my friends, it does kind of suck. I mean, they are all more advanced than me. Like I've yet to start Calculus 1 and they've completed Calculus 3 in school already. I just need some advice on how I can deal with this feeling of being behind and feeling like I'll never be able to reach a more advanced point in my study. This feeling also leads me to feel like I'm not good enough when I don't understand something. Anyways, I love the videos and hope this message wasn't too long. Reaching out from Montreal, Canada. P.S. If you make this a video, please not mention my name. Thank you. So I do have a couple things to say to you, which really is from my personal experience. I felt the same way you did, especially when I was in Physics 1. I took Physics 1 and Calculus 1 at the same time. And in that class, there was this really interesting tradition where my professor would give a dollar bill and he would sign it and he would give it to the top score in the class. And I always thought that was really cool and I always wanted a dollar and I never got it. All my friends got it, but I never got it. And I studied, I felt like more than they did, and I just couldn't do it. I felt like I was behind. But I never had the feeling that you're having, that feeling that you're not going to catch up. And I think the reason I didn't have that feeling is because I had this belief that if I worked hard enough, I could accomplish anything. And I kind of still have that viewpoint. I have that viewpoint that anything is possible. Maybe it's a naive viewpoint, maybe it's an overly optimistic viewpoint, but it's the viewpoint I have. And I think it's a good viewpoint to have. I think you should remember that you can do it. Just because they're ahead of you, it doesn't mean anything. Also, you mentioned the fact that you are 19 years old. I mean, that is super young. You have your whole life ahead of you. I didn't even start college until I was 24. So the fact that you're self-studying all of these subjects and you're only 19, I think is incredible. So my advice is, don't worry about it. You're gonna be fine. And there's always gonna be people out there who are way ahead of you, always. I mean, always. As an undergrad, I usually was one of the better students in some of my classes, but not all of them, right? Not physics and not combinatorics, not graph theory. There was always those classes where I always struggled a little bit more than some of the other students. Even in statistical theory, I felt like certain students were getting A's and I was getting C's and B's. So it's going to happen. You're going to have ups and downs throughout your math career. You're going to have classes where this is going to happen again. And you're going to have some classes later where you're feeling like you're on top of the world. It's okay to compare yourself to other people, but don't let it make you feel bad. Instead, you should use it as a source of motivation. You know, I look at the really smart people that I've known in my life, and I think, wow, I wish I could be like them, or I wish I could be as good as them or better than them. And you learn from them and you try to emulate them and they give you inspiration. So instead of feeling bad because you're not where your friends are, try to draw inspiration from that and use that to motivate yourself to succeed. Only 19, you have your whole life ahead of you. You got this, right? You could totally do it. Anyone has any advice for this person, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Good luck.